guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one video on Ultimate Gwen Stacy. And the person who recommended this was Tevia Smoka, so if you want to go check out his channel, in the description below there is a link for his channel. And if you guys have any recommendations for future one-on-one -on -one videos, please let me know in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks it will be on Comic Frontline, so be sure to recommend away in the comments. Uh, but let's talk about this one-on-one -on -one video, which is Ultimate Gwen Stacy. Uh, this is the Gwen Stacy of the Ultimate Universe, which she doesn't die, or, you know, like she doesn't die permanently in this book. She does die, but comes back to life. Uh, and she's actually in a lot of volumes of Spider-Man. Uh, she's in the first volume for about, like, 40 issues. Uh, and then the second volume, she's pretty much in the whole uh, volume, and this is when they're debating, oh, should Gwen Stacy, uh, or should, should Peter pick uh, Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane? And by the end, you know, it's mutual that Peter picks Mary Jane and Gwen's okay with that. They just end up be, becoming really good friends. Uh, she's also in the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man book, too. Um, she pops in every once in a while. That's something I love about that Miles book. Uh, and this is the original one. Not not as much the new one, but the one before that. The, the Ultimate Spider-Man book. Uh, but yeah, that's something I really enjoyed about that book. Was that it brought Peter's supporting cast, but still had Miles and his supporting cast. I thought they meshed the world really well. Um, and I do want to talk about some key issues in Ultimate Spider-Man. I do think you should read. This is from Volume 1 mostly. Uh, for Gwen Stacy. Uh, first, you know, Gwen Stacy does end up living with Peter and Aunt May. Aunt May invites her to live with them. And, I, and this was actually at the time Peter and Gwen were dating, so it was a little awkward. But, uh, you know, she, her father dies and she blames Spider-Man for that. And this is uh, Ultimate Spider-Man issue 32. And she ends up living with them throughout the whole entire Ultimate Spider-Man run. So uh, even when Peter dies, Gwen still lives with Aunt May. She becomes part of the family, uh, which is cool to see. Uh, and then a big moment is Gwen's death, and it's like, oh, of course, Gwen Stacy dies again. But she does die in Ultimate Spider-Man issue 62, uh, but then she comes back to life as Carnage in issue 98. One of my favorite, um, honestly, one of my favorite Ultimate Spider-Man stories is that story. Uh, seeing Gwen as Carnage and not really knowing what to do with it. So uh, that's a really, really cool issue uh, I recommend. Uh, so those are some of the key issues that you would like to read uh, if you want to get into Ultimate Comics. Gwen Stacy and yeah she's just a very cool character uh, and then of course you have spider Gwen and you know other Gwen Stacy Stacy that's dead but uh, the, you know this Gwen Stacy is still alive for now until may the ultimate universe dies but we will see uh, hope you guys enjoyed this is comic you know and comic frontline don't forget to follow me on Twitter don't forget to like my Facebook page also the description below there's links from my comic book like father like daughter and don't forget to like the Facebook page of like father like daughter I'll see you guys later bye